right, all right, all right. We are we are on. How's everyone doing? Today is so funny. And not so funny. Finally, my kids cold got a hold of me again. So now I've been sleeping really, really bad. It's like the. It's been hard to sleep. That's my only, like, what I hate about being ill is sleeping. I can't sleep when I'm ill, like, with, with a cold. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. I've just been torturing me all night. Hey, Magician, good morning. Kuru, Atsuki, Sofa Strangler, good morning, a wonderful people. Yeah, I hate it. I hate getting, like, in the, when it's in the throat and you're trying to sleep and it's just, ugh, I hate it. But it's gonna pass. I'm gonna curate with whiskey, I think, tomorrow. Yeah, I, 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 my remedy for um, colds are ginger, lemon, and honey teas. Like, I make them myself rather than buy a mixture, you know. They're really good for you. Kills it quite fast. All right, so uh, throw me some uh, topics. It's uh, it's time to get, get rolling. And hopefully uh, I won't sound too too messed up today on the stream with coughing or or anything of that nature. Hey Orby, good morning. Coworker. Fellow fellow opus artist. Mech Samurai, that's pretty cool. Scarecrow Golem, that's a nice topic. Empress of Desire, <laughs> nice one. Good morning, Atsuki, by the way. And uh, good topic. Hey, Lurib. I need some topics. Give me some topics. Sandwich. <laughs> so we got one, two, three, four. Two more topics. Okay, number five is Rhino Gladiator. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to roll the dice. If it's number six, the next topic is uh, going to win then. Oh, it's going to be number three today. So that would be one, two, Empress of Desire by Atsuki. How nice. Empress of Desire by uh, by Atsuki. Hey, Bubba220. Good morning. All right, Empress of Desire. That is a tricky one. I got two pictures in my head, which um. Uh, why isn't the time running? What's happening? There we go. So, Empress of Desire. I had two pictures, but I, I'm not too keen on any of them. I'm going to try a different approach today. The basic idea, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to do a mirrored image at the beginning. So I'm going to do line art, I think. And I'm going to just do like a queen of sorts, of some, some alien origin. And I want to mirror the design a bit. So, because for me, like royal gowns, etc., um, I love the idea of uh, having the mirrored, you know, very symmetrical but elaborate, and that always, for me, 
ticks the box of, of like some sort of fancy fanciness. That's hot coffee. My mouth. Hey EOP poison. Hey T Camp Princess, you're back. Fantastic. Hey what what wizard? See you here again. That's great. Yeah, so a while back, um, my family and I we went to the um, we went to the countryside um, to to spend some time in the forest. You know, that's all all good, um, and we had to have a. Um, a cat sitter come in and feed the cat and so on and uh, and uh, you know everything went fine we came home cat was happy we were feeding it you know everything back to normal and lately like we've been cleaning and and and, and there was a uh, my my wife's grandmother um, she's still alive and she had her 75th birthday here like lots of people coming over and, and it was a big celebration everything was cool and we cleaned you know extra carefully everything and and after that we were we were starting to to smell like this weird fish smell or 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 you know like something has gone off like what the well, keep kept on walking around and, and and trying to locate it and sniffing and like I don't understand. It's not the inside of the fridge, you know, like we've cleaned everything. It can't be anything like has something like crawled into the to the flat and, and died somewhere. You know, is, is it maybe a mouse or you know, whatever. Is it something that has uh, started rotting somewhere? Like I don't understand it. And uh, and this morning I was uh, arranging the the nut drawer we have like a drawer for for snacks and nuts and seeds and things like that in the kitchen so i opened the drawer and started arranging and i was like i started smelling that rotten not rotten but you know like weird fish smell i was like what the hell like what it, nuts can't have this smell and uh, at that point i instantly drew the parallel because next door to the the drawers is like cutleries and so on and next door to it is underneath the sink and usually in homes that's where you have the bin right but we don't use that bin we have it we have a standing bin uh, just standing in the corner of the kitchen you know like a large cylinder with a pop lid and you can just open it and shut it and so on but I instantly thought oh no please please don't have the cat sitter have you been using that bin you know because we don't use it we know not to put anything in there but she's a stranger and she just helped out with the cat and i was like no 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 slowly walking over to the uh over to the to the sink and and like breathing heavily to make sure that I have oxygen in my in my lungs and I was like oh no all right it's time to do it and I opened it and looked in and oh rest assured um, the bin she had been throwing cat shit in there you know in the bag from the cat's toilet old cat food uh, jars and I was like oh no and things had started like growing and Oh man, it was horrible, and I didn't want to breathe it in, so I just held my my breath, um, double bagged it in like uh, bin bags, and opened the windows and just w walked out of the kitchen. And, and I recently went back, and there wasn't any any smell, but man, that bin, that smell, mm, not nice. But at least I located the, the funky smell. You know, it's not the dead rat anywhere. It's just, uh, yeah, the cat sitters didn't use the bin in the corner, but the sink bin. 
but it looked really, really nasty. Hey, good morning there, Bart. Yeah, I mean, cat, cat feces and uh, things like that is like super, you know, it, it's not good for you as a, as a human. Not at all. But uh, I innocently went and washed my hands. But yeah, some nasty things. I've been working on my uh, my lecture, but last few days I've been uh, ill, and uh, I noticed like I don't have the energy to sit up at night and, and, and write. Uh, but I've been working on it a little bit, and, and it's starting to come together quite nicely. It will be interesting to to talk about it and and um, uh, have people's reaction to it I think it I think it'll be a good um, I think it'll be a good um, talk uh, it's all about like b trying to give the people listening in on the lecture some information I'm always keen on on, on, on doing that when ha having lectures rather than than talking about your experience and, and, and things like that or, or paint something because generally when you paint something it's it's too abstract and you're not explaining your process that well and I always try to uh, have data or, or information for people to, to, to take home with or think about so that's going to be going to be fun to to uh, to share. Not very feminine shapes. That's what you get for mirroring. But that's I think that's it's okay. I'll uh, I will play with with things. Don't want it too uh, mirrored, anyways. You just use it as a base a bit. Cats in the walls. I, I don't know what that is. Is that some sort of book? That's um. Actually, let's not have it like a helmet. Let's have it like a. Give her her head here. Yeah, but the lecture is all about uh, creativity and uh, the idea about that uh, what what can keep us uh, being held back by by creativity or or. Um, not thinking about what what 
uh, you, you gotta do when you 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 a concept artist and a lot of problems uh, can be solved like I always you know try to, to say is that the more you're aware of things the the more likely it is that you'll be able to uh, uh, <coughs> solve the problems some weird weird concepting happening here very um, exploring testing things out yes I was uh, looking into the um, I, um, as some of you may know, I got the um, nod from Twitch that I'm um, like I'll get the, the affiliate, whatever it's called, um, on Twitch that I'm an affiliate or friend or I don't know I don't know what they were how they were phrasing it. And I started looking into that, and, and I, I had to like fill out some sort of tax papers and all these things, but. I think um, I think I will do that, but what it seemed like it was just um, like you can be able to get bits or whatever it's called, some sort of um, no, it's not partnership, um, but it's there's something new, something called like affiliate or or. or or something like that, not a partner. Um, but it was like you can get, like I said, bits for some something. And uh, for me, I'm 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 a little bit on the fence about it. Like, I don't want it to be just another way for me to get a uh, Sesne affiliated, probably. Um, I don't want it to be another way of just getting money. You know, like I don't care that they say that. Oh, they can give you bits or chairs, and you will get X amount per chair or bit. But if that, I mean, if that comes out of your pocket, just to be able to like chair on, it's kind of shitty. But maybe it is differently. Maybe it is set up so that um, you don't pay, but they pay when you are sharing cheering on I don't know it is weird but I'm a, like I said I'm a little bit on the on the fence about doing it if it's just another way of like oh an, another disguised way of uh, donation you know that's not the purpose of this but but then I was also thinking if this affiliate or associate or whatever they, how they 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 labeled it. If it's a cool way of opening the door, and it's like uh, increases the chances of um, um, of getting more people or opening the doors to 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 sponsors or things like that. And I was thinking, you know, that will be cool for um, like for the community if that's the case. Because then, then I just don't need to implement the the bits or whatever they were called. If it's just another way of scamming money out of you guys, <laughs> you know. Uh, but if it that it helps with marketing and it helps with more people joining in on the fun, then maybe you know so that would be a cool idea. I'm always a little bit hesitant to kind of, you know, like lure people into pain. So that's not the why reason why I'm doing this, you know, to get to get money. I want I am in a way, but not directly. Like. Oh, really, Zealin? That's that's interesting.
Stresne. Yeah, exactly. It's this, um, I'm talking about that as well. Um, my concern is that if it's just another way of like forcing you to just you know scam money out of people, then I don't I don't care about it. Um, but if it helps with uh, on their end, like pro, um, Twitch's end, to help with to share the attention the stream gets, then you know that's a pretty cool thing. I mean, I'm doing this daily, anyways. You know, I'm, I'm sitting and sketching every day. Uh, now I don't know, like statistically, if my um, my amount of of like viewer minutes or uh, traffic is like any good in that sense. Um, probably not compared to these gamers that you know have thousands of viewers or whatever. Obviously, we're we're around twenty every day. You know, which is which is a really good good thing when you think about like how very little I promote this channel. Uh, in the sense of posting, like, hey, come and join me, or you know, doing any form of intelligent marketing. I'm not really. I'm just posting the picture with a link to the stream, and but it's very cryptic that information. But yeah, apparently, um, what's his name? PewDiePie <laughs> is uh, quitting um, YouTube and joining Twitch, which means you know they're uh, they're investing in people, and uh, some other people I, I kind of listen to on on YouTube. Um, in the sense of uh, research for for Twitch and so on, uh, saying that this this guy who is also quite uh, good traffic says uh, like oh he's going to move to Twitch as well, that they have way more engagement and they are way more interested in doing something together, which is interesting, you know. So I'm on the fence about. Um, Like, should I bite the bullet with the bits and co uh, cheers and whatever for for the affiliate or whatever is part I mean, not partner? But. Uh, Magshin, yeah. Well, thank you. I mean, some people want like hour-long streams uh, every day, but uh, obviously I can't sit hours every day and, and, and do that. I gotta do do my work. Oh man, today is super messy. I think this mirroring idea kind of shot me in the foot a bit. True. True, says. I mean, a lot of people that just not be able to. Uh... But what I find interesting is, it's like for me, in, in my instance, like it's a daily stream, right, with twenty to thirty people every day. Uh, in in a week, that's times five. You know, it's not amazing numbers. Uh, but it's pretty good numbers for for something that's only um, 30 minutes a day, you know. So I'm 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 kind of happy with the numbers in in, in that sense. Uh, it could easy, definitely easily be be the numbers could easily be wor worse, you know.
and I could definitely like bring the numbers up higher um, with more intelligent marketing and so on. I mean, I, I got some plans for what I want to do with the, with the stream and the community and so on. Uh, so I just got to find time to do it. And I think maybe this affiliate might be worth pursuing. Zealin, yeah, I think that is something I, that is a bit of a it's a bit of a shame that it's only thirty minutes, and it and it comes and goes really really fast. But I think one good thing is that it's a steady thing, right? It's every day. But the problem is is when it's just me, and that is something. Um, I have planned on wanted, wanting to change and talk to a couple of people is that you know having more than just me streaming which would be a cool thing you know so that's a little bit of the plan I have is, is uh, expanding this beyond just me But that requires, uh, you know, if, if you're going to introduce more people, uh, it has to be, you know, dedicated people and so on. But that's something I'm moving forward towards, you know. That's interesting, Gatsky. Seisner, yeah, exactly. I mean, um, I've already started like setting everything up. Uh, that's one of my plans. The ideas of like, how to expand the community is uh, to have like, um, like I said, more than one streamer, and trying. I'm. I'm not like that good of a community person in the sense of setting everything up technically and all these things. Uh, and currently I'm writing my lecture, so I don't have time to do anything. But um, with, with time, that's definitely something that uh, I want to expand into. Uh, but more on that later. Sofa Strangler. That's true. I mean, I like I said, I haven't done any marketing whatsoever. I've just I've just been uh, knee deep in content creating and and doing work, you know. So and and doing all the other projects on the side. Um, but at least I am doing daily streams, which is great, great for the future like great for um, content creation and so on um, but not so good for for expanding the the community but that's going to come for sure i know that much uh, i just need to to have time for it and, and not have too many uh, things going on the same time you know like uh, projects and lectures and Sandrock, yeah, definitely. Yeah, but I mean, 
there is always, you know, like you get more people for sure, more than 20 or 20 to 30 with longer streams. I, I, I get probably around 60 um, when I used to stream longer streams regularly every weekend. Um, maximum was like two, three hundred people. <laughs> but uh, I think I think there could be a lot more people on this stream if I would just put more effort into marketing it. You know, be going in on interviews, talking about the whole thing and, and oh, you know, it's easily changed with more, I mean, more traffic. I haven't even tried getting more traffic. So that's you know, that's, I think, not a big problem. Like, I haven't really, uh, you know, like, haven't really done any tutorial videos for the YouTube or, or any of these things. You know, it's all just, just do some streams every day so far. And I think when and if, <laughs> I hope, I get time to do more, you know, like, marketing, etc. Things will change for the better. But the, the thing is, I want to grow it the right way and not just get more people. It doesn't necessarily need to be the right decision. Uh, I want more of the right people rather than more, just more people. And uh, I, I, I um, still, you know, want to think about a little bit more of, of what's the next step. So I don't want to be talking about it too much because that might inform you incorrectly what to expect and then get disappointed when it's not implemented. So in a way, I'm always like careful of not talking about it too much as you might have noticed I'm quite like coy about it um, it's mostly just to to not to say anything that you guys might like or dislike which is not even I have settled on anything yet you know but I just wanted to talk and mention that I do have plans I just don't have time to implement them and that uh, changes are coming at some point I think uh, some pretty cool changes but I just need time. Atsuki, yeah, that's, that's, that's true. Um, I think, um, I think when you, you become an affiliate or whatever it was called, um, you get the ability to do your own team. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I think the future is bright for for this stream, though. Um, at least that's my plans. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not going to give up doing my daily streams. Uh, I find lots of views in them. Um, we do the warm up at the studio, anyways. Really good for for everyone involved. I mean, I can see a lot of growth on on you guys from the Discord. You know, so it makes me happy knowing that I can help you become better by by just having the platform and occasionally of course I, I give feedback and pain overs and all these things but you guys help each other as well and uh, help create the place so which is which is even which is even cooler and, and a lot more fun than just doing these warm-ups on my own uh, and you know just post a picture after this the painting rather than now I, I uh, I share it and we can talk and I can ramble and 
I think it's quite interesting so far that everything to this point is just me deciding on on wanting to stream and then all these cool things have happened. <laughs> Babu 220. Yeah, I, I love those kind of things. And I see all, also a lot of more people doing them more and more. Obviously, it's rubbing off somehow. Um, all right, time's up. Thanks for the topic, Atsuki. Empress of Desire. It became an uh, alien queen. Um, some alien race probably desires. Um, thanks, everyone, for coming. Thanks for talking. Really interesting discussion, for me at least. Um, we are now at 26 people watching, which is interesting. Uh, so it, for you who haven't clicked follow, should click follow. It's just a little click there. Um, or don't, I don't care. Well, I do, really. <laughs> but uh, don't do anything you don't want to do. Um, so um, have a great day, good night. See you tomorrow morning. But tomorrow morning is Friday. Friday! Fantastic. All right. Bye, everyone. Catch you on Discord. Discord is on the...